Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. So I'm still working with Ham Radio Deluxe and trying to get everything set up the way that I want it. And if you've been following along, uh, in the last video we imported the logbook and changed a few uh, customizations on uh, the looks of it. And I got it looking the way that I want it. Got some nice big uh, font there. Uh, Tahoma, I think uh, 14. Uh, nice size font that I can see. And uh, one of the things you, you might want to do is I, I've got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, contacts in this database. Uh, I'm only looking at 2023 right now, and there's a thousand. So look under selection, and if you're using all, uh, I've got 35,000, and that really slows things down for me. So uh, a good tip is just use the, the current year. Uh, just select it, and it won't have near as many in there, so it'll be quite a bit faster. Now, one of the things that I want to set up is uh, my call sign lookup. Uh, so when I when I add a, a contact into the ALE window, that's a add log entry window. When I uh, add a contact into there, it'll uh, look the the call sign up. Uh, so if I type in N zero VCU, uh, tab over, yeah, it goes ahead and brings them up, and it looks uh yeah the last contacts I've made with him uh, logbook uh, I've worked. Uh, VCU a number of times, but I've got them in my logbook a lot of times. So I like to have that. And uh, to set that up, I'm just going to minimize this and go to Tools up here. And uh, this is HRD Logbook Tools Configure, and then over to Call Sign Lookup. There's a couple of ways to get to this, but uh, that's one way, and it brings up this window. And uh, what I want to do, uh, if you, this is the way I have it set up right now. I'm going to reset it to the defaults, and that's uh, that's the way it looks when you get it, uh, when you first get it installed. So what I uh, do, I typically do, is just go ahead and transfer all of them over, and then I uh, pull the ones over that I don't want, uh, put them in the disabled window, and uh, I'm not using. Uh, uh, let's see, I'm not using QRs at CQ, I don't think. Uh, I'm not using a subscription. I'm not using that one. So I'm just dragging and dropping it over there. Not using uh, this CD. Uh, not using this CD. Not using a QRs at subscription. Uh, but I will use the logbook and country list. Uh, Ham QTH, that free one, and call look info, that free one. I'll use those. So I'm not going to uh, go through all of these over here, but I, I, we can just take a look at the tabs. Uh, uh, enter a call sign. N0VCU. And look up. And not found under this one. Not found under this one. Uh, no login uh, from... Uh, no login information for HamQTH3. I guess I haven't set it up. And uh, it's in there, it's in there, it's in there. Okay. Uh, if I want to add another one, uh, uh, W0TRD, uh, let's look him up. And same thing, but I, I got him in there, so it's it's going to work. And then the lookup options, uh, I can uh, get comment from a previous QSO, which I don't uh, don't usually do. I don't usually have any either of these checked off. Uh, Go over to QRZ, and I don't have, uh, I'm not using that anymore. Uh, it's a subscription service, and I just haven't paid uh, for this, well, this year yet. QRZ CQ, I could uh, enter that one in. Uh, ham call, that's one that we're missing. Uh, let me go ahead and, uh, was it ham call or ham QTH? I uh, forget. Let's go ahead and enter in, uh, K0PIR, and I think the passwords are the same on them, so I'll go ahead and uh, do that.
and then the local sources and i don't have uh don't have a cd i'd like to try that out sometime i wonder how fast that is it might be kind of nice uh when i'm out in the camper and i don't have access to the internet so i'm going to keep it there i hit apply and uh, then when i'm finished with all these i just go ahead and click ok so i'm, I'm set up when i have my add log entry uh window open and I enter a call sign in here let me try one we, we haven't used tab over and it brings it right up okay and uh, so that's working go ahead and close that out Here's the left one left one open there. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. If you, you find a bunch of little buttons along here, like that one had uh, Steve in there, in the zero VCU, uh, close those out because it'll slow down your logbook. In other words, if I have a bunch of these open too, because it really will slow your... Uh, uh, really will, will slow your computer down if you have a bunch of these open. Click that. See, it's right there. It's empty. And then sometimes, and I don't know how I do it, but I end up with a bunch of them, a bunch of empty ones there. And I'll do one more. And if you get uh, four or five of these open, uh, get four or five of these open, then uh, it will slow down your logbook. So it's good just to go ahead and close them out. Okay, so we got the call sign lookup taken care of. And uh, online logbooks. I use online logbooks. And I'm sure a lot of you do too. So let's go over to tools. Then down to uh, configure. And I do like club log, so I'm going to select that. And I, do, I have my call uh, or my email address in there and then the password. But I don't have a selected upload every time. I'll do that after I get everything configured and it's all working the way that I want it. And I'm just cruising along, making contacts. Uh, I'll come back and I'll, I'll select this so it uploads every time. But right now I'm not going to do that. So I like that one, and uh, the other one I like, uh, and you, you can choose your own, but I like uh, e EQSL, uh, that's a good one, and I don't use a nickname, but, and I don't, again, I don't have it checked off, upload every time, but uh, there's one other one I use, uh, like to use, and that's hrdlog.net, and uh, you need to upload code for that that one but uh and i've got it got it saved somewhere i'll have to find it and enter it in there but again uh i don't have upload every time uh selected i do have on the air so if you look on my uh, website it should say that i'm on the air and so uh, what frequency and mode i'm on but that's the other one i like and uh let's see before i started on this video i was looking for lotw because that's the other one and it's not showing up in there, but I haven't installed LOTW on this computer yet. So maybe that's an opportunity for another video, setting that up, uh, getting uh, my uh, getting my key, a cert certificate moved over, uh, copied over, and a new install of TQSL, and then adding a station location. So uh, that, yeah, I'll do another video on that. But anyway, I got those... Uh, got those set up and there's a couple more you might like uh, qrz.com is a good one uh, of course uh, 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 what else is in there I guess that's it I guess I, I've been using uh, quite a few of them LOTW is not in here like I said but uh, let's take a look at the DX cluster you, you might want to set up a DX cluster, and uh, the first one is Mike's uh, HRD WA9PIE, and that's a real good one. Uh, I use my own, 
and it's uh it's not in hrd you have to actually enter it in by clicking the add button and then you can enter in the information and mine is pi.k0pir.us and uh, port 7300 and i don't think you need a uh, login sometimes you need to enter in your uh, uh, your call sign it may be doing that automatically for me but anyway it's connected i'm going to hit close i'll show you what it looks like when i connect Here's the node, K0PIR. I should have put K0PIR, uh, oh, there it is, dash one. And it brings up everything. Okay. So I've got my cluster, and uh, look at all these guys over here on CW. Uh, well, these guys aren't on CW. These are. But uh, anyway, I think that was it for the video. That's what I wanted to show you. And I'm just going to continue working uh, to get Ham Radio Deluxe set up the way that I, I had liked it on my previous computer. And uh, LOTW is one of the uh, uh, programs I'm going to have to install. So uh, I guess that'll be the next video. And uh, then maybe uh, doing something in DM, DM780, uh, Digital Master 780. And I do have other videos I've done in the past, and uh, they're uh, still relevant today. Uh, a lot of the stuff hasn't changed that much from uh, a previous, uh, let's see, what I'm, I'm running uh, now, I'm running 6.8. Yeah, I've got a couple other nice videos out there on version 6.4, and still a lot of it's the same, so uh, still very relevant. So I'll, uh, I'll put links to those uh, up in the uh, top right-hand corner. Yeah, right over in here. You should be able to find a link. I'll put a link in the description of those uh, videos. And, of course, you can go to my website, www.k0pir.us, and I'll have an article to go along with this video, and it'll show you just what we went through. Okay, well, I hope you got something out of this. And if you have any questions, I love questions, please comment below. Uh, my email is good on qrz.com, but i uh, rather have you post a comment or a question here or on my website. That way, uh, everybody else can see it, and uh, it'll, benefit, it'll benefit others. Well, that does it. Thanks for watching. I hope, uh, again, that you got something out of the video. Please uh, like, subscribe, and share. And also tell your friends. 73 and good DX.